Hi everyone, it's Phil from Lost Weekends. Uh, welcome back to our channel. And uh, today we are at ProTech in Bradford and we're going to be doing a factory film. So come in and join me and we'll take a look and meet everybody in the factory. Okay, I'm here with Becky um, at ProTech and she's going to explain what she does for ProTech. <laughs> Hi, I am the designer. I go out and do all the towing cover patterns, car patterns and measure all the vans. Bit of everything. Great. So I take it what you do is you make a paper pattern, do you? So we put fabric on the vans to make the front towing jacket. So we put the fabric on, pin it all up, get the contours of the van. Uh, bring it back here. We've got a machine that sort of traces it out and it all goes onto the CAD and then cut on the CNC. Mm -hmm. So the CAD is computer? Computer aided design. Wonderful, that's great. Well thank you very much Becky and thanks thank for you. your time. Okay, we're now with Millie uh, who's going to explain her role at ProTech. Hi Millie. Hi, so I'm your first point of call when you phone up. If you phone to place an order, what we do is, is we take your postcode which then accumulates your address. We ask you for your house name or number, and then your contact information, your mobile number, email address, things like that. Depending on what order you're placing depends on what kind of questions we ask you on the next page. So we ask you your make, model and year of van. If it's a full cover, we ask you some basic information just to double check them against our pattern, make sure that we're all sort of looking at the same information. So we ask you for your aerial location, your door location, just front or rear, near side or off side, basic standard things. Um, if you are placing your order for a towing jacket, we just ask you what colour you want in. If you want it in the blue or in the green. We then proceed on to payment. And you will receive an automatic email order confirmation straight over to your email address. And then once we've taken payment, we then print off the orders, get your paperwork sorted and it goes to my office manager, Kirsty. And then she proceeds it from there. Well, thanks, Millie. Uh, so how many are in your team? There's four of us all together. There's me, Kirsty, Beth and Nicole. Okay, and thanks very much for doing your modelling and demonstrating down at uh, the NEC, we appreciate it. Ah, oh, thanks. Hello Peter, and what's your role at ProTech? So I mainly deal with all of the graphics and anything that needs anything printed on uh, a customer's cover. So when an order's been taken and then an order's been cut, it will then come to me with a note that states whether or not it needs a ProTech logo. At the same time, I'll print off a, a ribbon label, which will go on there, which identifies the, the uh, order for the customer's number as well. Can you do custom graphics as well for the customers? Oh yeah, absolutely. That's what I specialise in. And I also deal with all of the uh, promotional material that we do for the uh, magazines and for the shows as well. That's wonderful. Do you think we could have a quick look at what you do? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Yep. So we go from that and then we press that on a piece of application tape and we then remove the backing to reveal the logo ready to be heat pressed straight onto the customer's cover. So as you can see here, I've got the Lost Weekends cover for them with their logo that I designed ready to go on the application tape. So what I'll do is I'll press this and uh, this will now heat press this on. So it just takes 20 seconds. And really? there we go. So now I delicately remove the tape. And we're good to go. Wow, that looks fantastic. Thank you very much. You're more than welcome.
and Mandy. These are the orders that have come up from downstairs from Peter. So Mandy, what, what part are you uh, sewing now? This is the, the part what goes in the middle, the stretch part. I'm just going to sew the flap that goes on the top and at the bottom of the strip that secures the zip. There's a piece of velcro on the other side so the flap can attach to the other side. So that'll protect the zip, won't it? Yes. It also secures when they're towing the pulley from rattling, you know, on the caravan. This is a piece that goes on back, the back of the zip, that protects the caravan from the zip scratching. What's your name? My name is Irene. Okay, and what do you do, Irene? I'm doing the zips for the jacket. So you saw the zips for the jackets? Yeah. Would you like to show me what you do? Hello there, what's your name? I'm Julie. Hello Julie. Are you going to show me what you do uh, for Protect covers? Yeah. Lovely. This is, this is the binding machine. I'm just going to bind down the edge of the cover. So that puts a complete binding all yeah, the way around the, the cover the itself. Edge. That's brilliant. Yeah. And then down the outer edge as well. So this is the awning tape being sewn in by Mandy.
Yeah. Hello, Sue. Hello. <laughs> so this is the carriage bags, is it? Yeah. That's wonderful. I'm just putting the straps on. So the carriage bags, what do they fit? The motorhome and caravan covers. So that's a motorhome and caravan bag. My name's Dawn and I'm so easy to pick cover on the caravan. My name is Isela and I'm fit the caravan door. My name is Amanda and I'm doing um, one of the side panels for the motorhome. Which bit are you sewing now, Shirley? Uh, the front centre. Yeah. That has the zip on it. Right. When it's finished. But we have to sew two pieces together first. Just the strength. So is that like the bottom section where it's this extra is the padded? Bottom, yeah. Ah, oh, right. Thank you. Come on, tell me a joke. And no mucky ones. I don't know any clean ones. You don't know any clean jokes? No. no that's no good. No. Don't do clean jokes, they're not mm. funny, are they? No, that's true, they're boring, aren't they? Only well, them you get in crackers, I like them. You like, oh, you like cracker ones, do you? Yeah, and them that you get on penguin biscuits. Right. I like them. The only thing is, I can never remember them. I'm responsible for all dispatches. And your name is? It's Rob. Rob. Hello, Rob. Hi. Are you going to show me how you do it? I will. Lovely. Okay. Let's get on with it. So is that the confirmation of the customer, that? Yeah, just what the invoice number down. The invoice. And the date and my, and my signature. And what date it was it. packed? What date I packed it. Yeah. Right, thank you. So Robert now examines the... towing jacket to make sure that it meets the 
high standards of manufacturer. So have you got a set way of doing this, Bob? Uh, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have to do it all the same way. Right. Um, I don't know. So if I was to get it out of my uh, the bag and I was doing it, I could do it my way, could I? It, you could do it your way yeah. as long as you can. That's you fine. Getting it back in the bag. No, that's fine. I understand. Over the top just to keep secure it, yeah. It's the first thing I've done, yep. Basically, the same again. Which do you prefer to be called, Bob or Rob? Rob. Rob. I'll get that right then when I write I it on. I don't get older. That's fair enough. So Rob it is. So that was our visit to ProTech. Uh, it was a fantastic day. We were made very welcome and we were shown around the factory and we managed to do some filming with the, with the staff and they were a great bunch of people. Some were a little camera shy but there we go. Uh, but I did enjoy it, it was brilliant. Uh, Legs Down also enjoyed theirs and there's a link to their natters up there. So if you want to check out the uh, video that they did with the MD it's a right good natter and it's worth watching. So thanks uh, Rich and Trev um, for working with us on this one. I really do appreciate it and um, maybe we can do something else again another day. But thank you very much and stay tuned in and if you feel like subscribing, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye bye.